Here he is. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah, you gotta do the warm up. I never warm up because I never cool down. When I get a good warm up in, there's nothing I can't play. Tom, do you warm up every day? Yes! This is my 31st year in the Boston Symphony, and I've warmed up approximately 50,233 and a half times. Yeah, long tones are all right. Sure, why not? But the warm-up's really not so much about that as it is to get ready to step into the arena, you know, to, to gear up for the battle. Wait, you mean figuratively, like, like a musical battle? Figuratively? No, no, I mean literally, like fist to fist with the conductor. Yeah. You know, the BSO brass has a really unique sound. You could say it's the hall. Maybe you could say it's the hall. Maybe you could say it's the way we articulate. Really though, I think it has to do with how intense we all are about our individual warm-up. Oh, and our, and our group warm-up. Group warm-ups are absolutely crucial. <laughs> Rolf's? Yeah, his warm-up is really weird. Doesn't work for me. Doesn't work for anybody. It's really bad. It's really weird. It's extremely important for a professional to get in a nice, stable warm-up. Tell us what the warm-up means to each of you. Thank you, that was very helpful. Yeah, Mike Martin has one of the best warm-up routines I've ever heard. And everybody knows it. And I guarantee you, well, it's no secret, that's why he's here right now in the BSO. Athletes warm up before they run a marathon, or before they run a sprint. Warm-ups on a brass instrument are equally important. by far the most important part of my day. I can't really even function as a human being without it. It's very specific to my needs, both as a trumpet player and as a professional musician.